I'm Daryl Falzerano. I'm a research scientist at Vito Intervac. My lab works on uh, emerging coronaviruses. We spent the last five years working on MERS coronavirus, trying to develop a vaccine targeted for use in camels to prevent transmission from camels to humans. And now we work on SARS coronavirus 2, uh, this time targeting vaccine for humans. And we spend a lot of our efforts working on preclinical models uh, and, and developing those so we can assess that vaccine prior to moving into humans. One of the things we do is take a One Health approach. For the example of MERS coronavirus, camels are a reservoir uh, of the virus but don't actually suffer any disease, whereas when they pass it to humans, you have a 33% case fatality rate. We thought the most efficient way to make a vaccine there was to target the actual the camels and not the people, uh, and so we've been working to develop a vaccine suitable for use in, in, in camels to prevent um, transmission to humans and eliminate MERS that way. We were the first lab in Canada to isolate SARS-CoV-2 from a clinical sample. That gave us a big jump start in getting our research going. That allowed us to develop hamster and ferret models, as well as sharing that virus with other labs across Canada so they could start their research as, as well. Prior to that, we actually had already started working on a vaccine because you don't require a virus to actually do that. But once our vaccine uh, was made and animals were vaccinated, we had a challenge virus and a challenge animal model ready to go. Um, allowing us to proceed quickly in the early preclinical stages. We've known that the possibility of a pandemic from a new virus has existed for a long time. We've seen little bits of it, for example, in 2009 with H1N1, but the severity of it was not anywhere near uh, what it is with COVID-19. And I think it just highlights the need to continue working in areas of emerging viruses, even when they may not seem to pose a, a, a big threat at the moment. That doesn't mean that in the future they won't, or that a new virus that we don't even know about yet will emerge.